Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski with the latest from Denver 7. Denver 7 has learned the seven-year-old boy whose body was found in a Denver storage unit was last seen at school on May 24th. Classes did not let out for another week. That lines up with the records that show that police believe Caden McWilliams may have died around that date. His body was only discovered in late December and his manner of death has not been released. McWilliams' mother, Alicia Pankey, has been arrested on investigation of child abuse, resulting in death. Wheat Ridge police are now offering up to $2,500 for help finding five missing goats. We've been following the rescue effort for Yoda, Cream Puff, Wendell, Daryl and his other brother Daryl all week. At one point, we even tagged along with the search team. Police believe they were stolen and their gate tampered with. The farm has said that if anyone took the animals to keep them out of the cold, they can be returned, no questions asked. It's the price we pay for 300 days a year of beautiful weather. I-70 East near Floyd Hill actually had to be closed for about 45 minutes this morning because the sun glare was blinding drivers. In the past, CDOT would just put out warnings when this happened, but now state troopers just close the road as a precaution. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a look at your forecast. Today has been beautiful and warm. Saturday will be in the highs of 58, mild and dry. Sunday, we will see some mountain snow, but temperatures are still in the 50s. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand Update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update. And download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski.